What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about our favorite shoes for summer. Now a while back I made a video about the best types of shoes to wear with shorts. So if you're interested in that, definitely go check that video out. This video is just about that favorite pair of shoes. You know, that pair of shoes that you just keep coming back to that you'll wear two, three days in a row, you know, maybe three or four days out of the week. Now toward the end of the video, I'm gonna share my favorite pair of shoes that I've been wearing all the time this summer. But first we're gonna hear from four of the most well-informed men's style enthusiasts that I know of here on YouTube. I'm talking about Teddy Baldassar, John Shanahan of Cavalier, Baron Quadro of Effortless Gent, and Jeff Morgan, your style OG. Links to all the shoes we mentioned will be down below in the description, as well as links to these guys' channels. So if you're not already subscribed, definitely go check them out because these guys are putting out some of the best men's style content here on YouTube. And they're just great people, which is why I've asked them to help me out with this video. All right, fellas, take it away. What's going on, everybody? Teddy Baldessar here, and Brock, thank you so much for letting me come on your channel. If you guys have never seen my content before, I talk about style, but mostly wristwatches. So if you wanna learn more about watches, go check out my channel. So in the summertime, I wear a lot of different shoes, mostly sneakers, and most of the sneakers that I own are from a lot of different brands. Adidas is probably my favorite brand. But for my pick here today, I wanted to go with something a little bit more unconventional. So the shoes that I am talking about today kind of have some sentimental value as a kid from the 90s, because I learned about these shoes through a movie that I loved growing up, and that is The Sandlot. If you guys grew up during this time and watched this movie, you probably know what shoes I'm referring to. And those are PF Flyers. And the specific shoe that I'm referring to with this brand is their Rambler High. This pair that I'm wearing is a product made in partnership with Todd Snyder. And I just love these shoes, not only during the summer, but they should be shoes that you can get a lot of use out of year round. I know high top shoes are not for everyone. However, say that you're into that Chuck Taylor type look, but want something that is not as common, these are a great option. These shoes are super clean, have a lambskin leather lining, have a really comfy insole for a factory insole, and are currently on a ridiculous sale where you can pick these up for $60. And for a guy that loves just the classic Americana type look, I have to say, I love these shoes. So Brock, thanks again for having me on. I look forward to commenting with all you guys in the comments down below, and feel free to check out my channel if you're interested. Hey gents, for my summer shoe check, I basically have two go-to shoes that are on my feet all the time. I have my very casual Koyo sneaker, which is in the cream with a suede accent, and then my almost daily wear, which is my Jay Butler suede loafer, and one of my favorite shoes in my collection. My Koyo shoe is not as pure white, it's like a slightly off-white with this like suede accent on the side. It's extremely versatile, it looks great dressed with shorts, it looks great with jeans, it looks great with so many things in so many environments. It's basically a common project silhouette at a slightly lower price, but it is built to the exact same quality standards as common projects, which is why uh, I have chosen these over common projects. My Jay Butler suede loafers are about a year old and they feel even better than they did when I first took them out of the box because they've now completely broken in. They've molded to my foot. Uh, you can see all the wear and tear uh, on the back here, but they look almost as good as the first day. This is another shoe that's very versatile. I end up wearing these a lot just like up to the pool. I wear them with shorts. I can wear them with a trouser to the office. And coincidentally, both shoes I end up wearing without socks because that's what summer is all about, right? So thank you to Brock for including me in the summer shoe check. You can check out my channel at the Cavalier underscore on Twitter and Instagram as well. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Hey, what's up, fellas? My name is Baron. I run a men's style site and a YouTube channel called Effortless Gent. Quick shout out to my buddy Brock for having me on his channel and for letting me be a part of this video. So for the past two years, my warm weather shoe of choice has actually been this light tan leather loafer from Allen Edmonds called the Sedona, I believe. Unfortunately, they don't sell it on their site anymore, but I did find them on Amazon. So if you're lucky, you can still snag a pair in your size there. The reason I like these shoes so much is because it tops off a smart, sharp, casual outfit so well. You could dress it up, let's say with, I don't know, a linen jacket and some trousers, or you could dress it down with a light wash, tapered pair of jeans and maybe a polo shirt or a t-shirt. 
or anything really in between. It looks great with everything. So aesthetically, I do love the light tan leather. I feel like it looks really fresh and it goes with everything. It does have a very traditional sort of like penny loafer style, but there is a twist with the brick red Vibram sole. Vibram? Is it Vibram? Vibram? I pronounce it Vibram. Anyway, the sole is super comfortable. I'm not like clacking my way down the sidewalk. It's not really loud like a leather sole typically is. It's super quiet, super comfortable, and it looks great. And you can always depend on Allen Edmonds for really quality construction when it comes to your shoes. I do prefer the sockless look with these loafers. So I'm often wearing a sort of absorbent insert that I stick into the shoe or just regular no-show socks. So to wrap it up, the Allen Edmonds Sedona loafer is my go-to shoe in the warmer months. I hope that gives you a little insight into my style inspiration. And Brock, thank you again for having me on this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see y'all in the next video. What's up guys, Jeff from The Style OG. I wanna thank Brock for allowing me on the Modest Man channel to talk about my summer go-to shoe this summer, my Gucci brown kilty tassel loafer. Yes, it's a mouthful. Now this is a shoe I've owned 10, maybe 15 years, but I've started to wear more this summer than I did others. And the few reasons why I find myself reaching for it over and over, very versatile. First of all, it's a brown shoe. Brown goes with anything. But the burnishing of the leather makes it easy to dress up or dress down. Secondly, it's pretty unique. You don't see a lot of guys, especially young guys, rocking a guilty tassel loafer. I know you might find it to be more of an old man geezer style, but that's one of the things I like about it. It stands out. And in the summertime, we're wearing chinos, shorts, kind of boring clothes. I like a little detailing in my shoe. And the great thing about this one, I can wear it with a variety of things. If I want to dress up some jeans, this will work. Pair with chinos, you got it. It can be a little hard to stand out in the summer when we're wearing less clothes, but I think my brown Gucci kilty tassel loafer helps me do that. That's why I'll be reaching for it over and over this summer. Once again, thanks for having me on the channel, Brock. Salute. Okay, just like John Shanahan, I have found myself wearing these Koyo sneakers all summer long. Now, mine are slightly different than his. These are the uh, Koyo Capri Bianco. So they, they're all white and then they just have this strip of tan suede. And so it just gives them a slightly unique look compared to like greats or common projects or you know, it just helps them stand out in the sea of white sneakers. But like John said, I think these are uh, just like a slightly more affordable uh, version of common projects and compared to other brands that I've tried, these are the closest to CPs in terms of uh, the feel of the leather and the overall build quality of the shoe. You can wear these with olive chinos, navy chinos, dark or light wash jeans, khaki chino shorts, you know, any color chino shorts really. So just a very versatile, casual shoe. Of course, they're still kind of expensive, so if you don't want to spend that much money, I'd recommend checking out a brand like Greats or Oliver Cabell. But you really can't go wrong with a minimal leather sneaker. White is probably one of the more versatile colors. You could also do like an off-white or a navy or gray or black. But this pair from Koyo has been probably my most worn uh, casual summer shoe this year. All right, thanks again to Teddy, John, Barron, and Jeff for helping me out with this video. Like I said, these are great guys. They're putting out some awesome content. So if you don't already subscribe to their channels, be sure to check them out. Links down below in the description. If you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments. Thank you as always for watching. And until next time, stay stylish.